genes can be controlled with electricity. Human genes can be activated or deactivated by electricity. This is demonstrated by an experimental technology developed by Swiss scientists that uses weak electrical impulses to trigger insulin production. The researchers believe that further development of the technology could lead to implants that could be used to activate specific genes paving the way for therapies to treat a variety of gene-related health problems. Scientists have developed a prototype implant that can control gene expression and hormone production through electrical stimulation. Gene expression is the process by which genetic information is read and proteins or various forms of RNA are produced on its basis. Experts are convinced that with further development, the technology will allow the creation of devices that will help in the treatment of many diseases including type 1 diabetes. Most genes act as instruction manuals that tell cells how to make specific proteins. Almost every cell in the body contains a copy of all our genes, but most are silenced and only some are active. One way the body decides which genes to express is by marking DNA sequences with chemicals. However, genes turned on or off at inappropriate times can cause disease. Therefore, Many researchers are looking for ways to manually control gene expression in cells. We have long wanted to directly control gene expression using electricity. Now we've finally done it, says lead author Martin Fussinger of the Federal University of Technology in Zurich. Scientists are exploring many different ways to influence gene expression. They use drugs, light, CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing, and now electricity. The first successful attempts to construct a similar implant took place in 2020. But back then, High voltage electricity and a lot of time were needed to produce insulin. Now a team in Switzerland has developed a safer and more efficient way to trigger gene expression. An article on this topic was published in Nature Metabolism. In a new study, Swiss scientists tried to encourage cells to produce insulin. For this purpose, they implanted a gel capsule containing pancreatic cells into the mice. They were modified so that electrical stimulation would trigger the expression of a gene needed to produce insulin. These cells undergo a chain reaction in response to reactive oxygen species. Unstable oxygen-containing radicals produced when current is applied, which ultimately activates the needed gene. A pair of acupuncture needles inserted into the skin delivers low voltage current to the cells from a battery pack worn externally. 
Studies have shown that just 10 seconds of such stimulation a day is enough to stabilize the blood sugar level of mice. The study provides proof of concept. There is a good chance that the results of these studies can be translated to humans. Presumably, people with diabetes would need many more engineered cells to produce enough insulin for treatment. Scientists announce further work, which will ultimately lead to the construction of implants for diabetics, but also people suffering from other diseases. It may be possible to develop implants or therapies to combat genetic diseases by turning specific genes on and off, allowing them to deliver key proteins. For people with type 1 diabetes who do not produce or produce too little of a key hormone responsible for controlling blood sugar levels. The ability to stimulate cells to produce insulin on demand can help avoid hyperglycemia when blood sugar levels become dangerously high. We believe that fast, electronic, direct, low voltage, Battery-powered gene control in cells is a step forward and the missing link that will enable implants to control genes in the near future, the researchers wrote in their paper.